It all started when the Dawn journalist Cyril Almeida broke confidential minutes of a meeting among the government and military officials on National Action Plan in his report on October 6, 2016. The story reported, the civilian government's representative informed the military leadership about the international isolation of Pakistan, they gave warning that Pakistan could face international isolation if the security establishment did not take the recommended course of action. Further the Foreign Secretary Aziz Chaudhry reportedly apprised the military of mounting international pressure of more action against armed groups. On the U.S., Mr. Chaudhry said that relations have deteriorated and will likely further deteriorate because of the American demand that action be taken against the Hackney network. On India, Mr. Chaudhry stated that the completion of the Patankat investigation and some visible action against Jaishai Mohammed were the principal demands. In response to Foreign Secretary Chaudhry's conclusions, DGI's General Rizwan Akhtar asked what steps could be taken to prevent the drift towards isolation. Mr. Chaudhry's reply was direct and emphatic, the principal international demands are for action against Masood Azhar and the Jaishai Mahmed, Hafiz Saeed and the Lashkritba, and the Hakani network. To that, General Akhtar offered that the government should arrest whomever it deems necessary on which Chief Minister Shehbaz Sharif raised the question that if we take any legal action against any armed group, then ICE intervenes and rescues them. In that case what can we do? After this repetition escalated, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif disposed of the matter and said that ICE has been patronizing these groups under state policy in the past so that when the time comes, they can be used to achieve their targets. And now it is the policy of the state to take action against these organizations. The office of the Prime Minister on October 7 strongly denied the content of the news calling it fabricated. Prime Minister took serious notice of the violation and directed that those responsible should be identified for stern action, said the statement. On October 10, the then Chief of Army Staff General Ra'il Sharif called on Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif to discuss matters pertaining to national and regional security. During the meeting, they termed the fabricated news story against the national security. On October 11, Cyril Almeida wrote on his Twitter account, I am told and have been informed and have been shown evidence that I am on the exit control list. The PMLN leaders had briefed the army chief on the progress of investigation and recommendations related to the planted story. The federal minister was the biggest casualty of the investigation into the national security breach, Musadik Malik. The spokesman for the Prime Minister had said that Pervez Rashid was responsible for the newsgate. On November 7, the government constituted a commission headed by a retired High Court judge for investigation into the controversial news. The Interior Minister revealed that there was a conflict in the investigation committee formed over the Don Leaks issue. He said that he would only hand over the final report to the government when he receives it. It was reported that Prime Minister's assistants Tariq Fatimai and Principal Information Secretary Rao Teksin were likely to be shown the door. The notification dated April 29 signed by the Prime Minister's Secretary Fawad Hussain Fawad stated that Fatimai had been removed and a necessary notification has been issued forthwith. Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif approved the recommendations of the Don Leaks Inquiry Committee and directed the ministries concerned and divisions for implementation and Cyril Almeida in the instant matter shall be referred to all Pakistan Newspapers Society, APNS, for necessary disciplinary action. ISPR, Major General Asif Ghafoor issued a brief statement in a tweet and said that recommendation of Pakistan Army were not incorporated. Nisar said a formal notification in this regard will be issued in the light of recommendations made and no effort will be made to protect anyone, and quat.